Greetings, Disky fam. Welcome to season two of the Sisonke Disky Chat. My name is Len Muleko, and this is a show where we sit down with legends of the two biggest teams in Zanzi. Of course, I'm talking about Orlando Pirates, and I'm talking about Kaiser Chiefs, and we do have such gentlemen joining us on the show today. So, season two is not going to be any different. We're going to go bigger and better right here on the Sisonke Disky Chat. And speaking about bigger and better, we have a very exciting competition for you, and all you need to do to be part of this competition, to stand a chance to win, just go to your app store, make sure you download the Voda Pay app and enter our Soweto Derby competition where you stand to win vouchers, where you stand to win soccer merchandise and lots and lots of data. It's very simple, download the app, make sure you enter the Soweto Derby competition and you could be walking away with those prizes. If you like it, Voda Pay it. Anyway, getting straight into today's show, I am joined by, should I start with the return soldier or <laughs> should I start with a newbie? Uh, whichever one you feel okay, comfortable. Let me start with a newbie. <laughs> Renelo Litsolonyan, former Kaiser Chiefs midfielder. Welcome to the Sisonke Disky Chat. Thanks, thanks for having me, Len. And return soldier, the Khan Terminator Mabalan, part thank of the you. finish. Thank you very much. Cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to get straight into it. I'm going to start with you, yeah, yeah. Um, So to Derby, just around the corner. Kaiser Chiefs taking on Orlando Pirates. Um, we've seen how the previous games have gone, especially in, I call it the new era, since there are no fans at the stadium. We've seen how results have gone. Pirates won the first one, and in the other cup competitions, and then Chiefs went and won one uh, in early 2021. I think it was in March. Then there was the Bear Cup that happened. It went all the way to penalties. But now this is the league, it's a different ball game. How do you see this one going, especially now that Amakosi were able to flex Marcel Nyana and sign a couple of players? Look, uh, the expectations about the game it are always the same, uh, to see a, a good game. And then one of the teams winning, uh, in my case, Chiefs winning. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it is, it is not no uh, difference to, to any other game, like I said. Uh, they just won two games uh, in a row uh, before, obviously, before the games, they were not performing very well. Yeah. Uh, they have picked up now and then won two games, collected six points. And then they would want to carry on with, with the momentum of, of winning and then, then uh, obviously getting, giving back uh, to, to their supporters. But not they don't get an opportunity to be at the stadium, but we know social media, uh, they, they are there uh, criticizing them. And then now it, it has been better because of winning the two games. So they, they would want to, to win the game so that they, they have the bragging rights on the day. Uh, Fortunes Escortini are not like the ones that the other ones have suddenly picked mm, up. Mm. You know, two victories on the trot. Yep. Escortini and Karee. How vibrant. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, it's, when it comes to Pirates, it's consistency. You know, it's not the, the case where you know what Chiefs are in terms of their performance. You know, they started um, on the back foot, so to speak. And uh, now you can just see the pattern. Uh, now they're picking up. They're getting their form back. We could say that. Turning the corner, probably. Um, however, with, when it comes to Pirates, I think it's always been that inconsistency. Uh, I mean, starting, we, we can take it back to last season. I don't think much has changed, really. Um, I mean, they've acquired quality players, we know that. But they have struggled, or can I say, the technical team have struggled to make them uh, work together as a unit. And, you know, we can't question the, the quality that's in the team. That's, that has been the, you know, um, ongoing problem for Orlando Pirates and I think uh, not much has changed except that now and then you get certain individuals that come up and, and, and maybe you know show a bit of the glimpse of, of, of you know uh, confidence Mabasa for instance now is back uh, scoring goals however again consistency becomes the problem so Lodge is missing certain you know players quality players that we could say that you know were key players are not really performing at their best, which is different from Chiefs. Now you're starting to see the likes of Kama and uh, uh, Billy, uh, uh, Dolly as well coming up. You know, this is what you need in a club, in a team where you have you know your key players performing at their best. And I think Pirates have struggled with that in terms of you know uh, getting that consistently. 
So um, that has been a problem. The change in the technical team as well might maybe affected them as well. Okay. So in terms of um, you speak about uh, key personnel in the in, in, in both Chiefs and Pirates. And we look at this derby, I know back in your guys' days, you guys were key personnel in terms of the battle on the field. W were we? Yeah, no, no, was, key uh, uh, in <laughs> well, Thanks for the compliment. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> no, but it was one of those things where before a game plays, like, you know, you single out or, okay, cool. Uh, we know, yeah, yeah is going to be like, you know, the engine for the Chiefs team. We know Di Hang is going to be the engine for the Pirates team type of thing. In, and, and we're going to get to that. In this case, and I'm, I'm going to go to you, uh, Ye Ye. Oh, Chiefs, who do you see outside of Dolly and Billiard? Because, yes, they could be the ones that finish off whatever it is that was started. But who are those key people that are really fair and we're going to be looking at them and saying, OK, if this one does not perform, Chiefs has always been a team besides the era earlier about Dr. Kumaru yeah, where yeah. Doc was was the main person every ball transfer by past year. Mm -hmm. But after that, I don't think Chiefs has been a team where they really rely on an individual player to say this one will win us the game. Chiefs has always been a team that works together mm. and then every now and then individual will come out and then like Dolina will come and kill the ball and then it's a goal but it starts from a team effort team structure and and now it is more evident than any other season mm. now uh, with the group of players that Chiefs has uh, it is they are all team players you you will not see a player or Elongore sort of outshines any other player. They are so more or less on the same same level. Yeah. And for them to win a game, any game, they must work together. From the bench to the players that are starting to a technical team. So in a derby that is coming up, I I will not single out anyone. Was it a change of mentality or was it the acquisition of new players because the bulk of the squad, like the same guys that were there last season. It's 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 the same, right? It it has been the same for the past two, three seasons. Yeah. Eighty percent of, of the class are still there. Uh they've tried. Uh they've been trying. It if things are not going your way, sometimes if things are meant to be that way, they are meant to be that way. Remember last season they lost uh last season or Last season, that yeah, that? they lost the the league uh, the last. Oh yeah, two two seasons ago. Two yes, seasons yes, ago. Yes, yes, yes. So remember, they lost the league that last game, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then same group of players they went on and struggled last season. Mm. Fast forward, same group of players they still here, and now there's there's a difference. Go, go the results in terms that they get. So they've been trying throughout, but it it hasn't been really going their way and and, and, and they now, were impressive in the in the continental stages yeah, yeah. Kef, Kef, and yeah. and now the same effort that they've been putting it's sort of it's, it's kind of paying off now but when you watch when you watch a football game from a supporter point of view you will see things that football people don't see yeah i don't watch a football match from a Support that point of view. Because I understand, I, I have an experience, first-hand experience yeah. of what they are going through. So I see, I know what they're putting in effort. And now a bit of luck is coming their way. And the effort that they've been giving throughout the season, sale, now it's starting to pay off with a bit of luck. From a parent's perspective, uh, Lodge is injured. I think Ule, if things go well. Is he, is he injured? He's been injured. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure anymore. I just need clarity, you know? But, well, he's not available. Yeah. Pule, not available. Yeah. Key players that obviously the fans will be looking towards, like, okay, cool. Rabata uh, Loche, Rabata Pule, Mabasa, you mentioned, has been doing considerably well. Um, Juga Manja has been coming in bits and pieces. It's, it's who then becomes that key personnel or that key person for Pirates? Is it a case of 
it's a collective effort or there is that person who makes the whole team dance and if I say you, I want it. No, that's easy. I mean, in football, it's always a collective effort. Um, you will have individuals that would add uh, that added advantage, you know, when it comes to uh, output, performance, everything. Um, but however, it's always a collective, it's always a unit. We always talk about synergy or, you know, um, uh, camaraderie, the chemistry in the team, you know, we throw around those words, meaning basically it's, it's just unity. It's, 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 they have to be uh, united. However, there's also that element of the technical team. Specifically, let's talk about the coach. Um, I think that plays a, an important role in terms of winning the changing room, winning uh, the players, you know, because once there is that disconnection, once the players don't respond to you, it becomes a problem, especially when there's been changes in the technical team, because now players are used to a certain kind of philosophy or, you know, uh, way of playing. And it becomes a problem when there are changes in the technical team because now they have to adapt again. And you know, players, how the power players are, I know, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. I know, you know, things like that come into play as well. So you need to first get rid of it, get the players to work for you as a unit, all of them. Win, this, hence we say, win the changing room first as a coach, and then you will, you will get a team, a proper team that will play for you. You get the players to play for you. And I, I feel like that's the case at Pirates, you know. Um, the, uh, the unit, it's not quite there yet. However, we hope that with the introduction of Mandla Ngazi and uh, Fadlu Davids, they will be able to establish that. It takes time sometimes, yeah. you know. Uh, changing technical team doesn't help a lot uh, as well, doesn't make it easy. So I hope they will give them time to establish what they, they need to establish. Or uh, rumors are they still want to bring in a coach. We don't know, you know. Uh, they're not really saying who is the coach there. That position is still vacant yeah. from what we hear. And sorry, to, to add yeah. a bit on that, it is very important for, for players to feel settled, mm -hmm. to be comfortable in, in where they are, in the environment that they are, they are in. If, if you keep changing a technical team, every coach has his own way of doing things, every coach. I can come and, and play this 4-4-2 and then Terminator come next, play 4-4-2. That 4-4-2, it's not the same. So the, the structure of the team, it is not the same. So you still need to instill things, multiplying the how, how you want them to execute the 442 formation. Yeah. So they must get used to that. And unfortunately, you will not achieve that for two months. You will never. It, it needs time, it needs training, it needs coaching, it needs patience, it needs more effort. So it needs, it, like it needs everything that Supporters, almost. that supporters don't want. Yeah. Supporters only want the results, mm. right? So if, if you find yourself only go a situation you're not sure whether they are head coaches or not, mm. then players are not sure what is going to be in another coach. Mm. Uh, so now we need to shift and adjust to how he wants to do, to do things. Today, give this one, Kausani get that one. So it doesn't help anyone in that situation. If you want the results, results, you'll accidentally get them. What are the chase? The results. What are the chase? So, when you want a team, when you want Kaiser Chiefs to play a good football, so you must sacrifice for a bit the results. Because of. What's more important, results or good football? For me. Ah, you're a football person. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm saying maybe, maybe we'll just study supporters. Can you wear a, a supporter's head? A supporter's head. It is. I can't because of, I have an experience, first-hand experience, and I know the rewards are, are supposed. So, ask me personally, who is important. Okay. I will say, yeah, what is personal, it? Yes. Personally, it is performance. And the reason I'm saying performance is when you are playing well, chances of you to win games are higher than losing games. You will lose games playing well, but they are not many. When you are accidentally winning, chance of you 
losing games are higher than winning games. Your luck will run out. Yeah, I think ultimately we, we, we want results. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's an end, that's an end that's product. An end product. Now, you need to first establish the process. How do you get to that end result? Mm -hmm. You know, so you need to perform well in order to get results. So I think, uh, yeah, it will always be about results at the end. But you need to first, how do we get there? So that's the important thing, you know, in football. And I think we, if you have stab established that as a, as a club, then it's fine, which includes tactics, uh, whether you have good players or not, whether you have a good coach or not. This is the in-between yeah. Yeah, for you to get there. Now, looking and building up to a derby, because uh, Chiefs have a game against uh, Stellenbosch in the same week as the derby. Parrots have a game against Sikukune United in the same week of the derby. Do those games sort of like throw you off? Do you, do you, do you need those games? I mean, you play on Tuesday or Wednesday, next thing, Saturday key is just around the corner. Yeah. Before the derby, yeah. yes. You, you know, you know, you know Lynn, the, the thing is, a derby is it's special. You'll, as players, you'll definitely be thinking about it. It's there. Even if there's a game here, I mean, we might talk amongst ourselves as players and say, like, yeah, guys, we we'll take it one, one game at a time. But uh, we know we're eyeing that one. But that one is the special one. Even the training, you can see with the eye, you know, uh, the mind. Everyone wants to play the, the, the derby. Yeah. Every player wants to be in the, in, in the, in the derby. But I'm going to, an, other players go to an extent of, uh, when we go to training, Utlawana, uh, King, um, the medical room. Yes. Yeah, it's uh, the game that uh, before the dub. Ah, but it's a lava, but it's a medical room. They, they, now it's like how oh, suddenly people are holding knees now and rubbing and doing what. Come the dub, uh, everyone is fit. Medical room clean. Clean. Empty. Empty. Game before the dub, yeah. the most difficult game yeah. a player would, would play. But surely, don't you? use that game as audition or okay coach born you have to it that's how it's supposed to be right yeah but unfortunately a mind works in a in in its own way uh one when you go into stellenbosch got tuesday after game at, yeah yeah stellenbosch wednesday you're not really training because it's a recovery mm -hmm. and then you you left with literally thursday so you will not get a chance again to train properly yeah. for the next game. That means any knock, anything that happens, any bad performance that happens, that Tuesday, you reach the chance to have play that Saturday. But it can also increase. And they get, ah, Pella, at that time, you're not even thinking about the chance of increasing. You're thinking of playing Stellenbosch, a sort of smaller team. Mm. We always struggle when we play with them. Sure. Yeah. What are the chances the whole? And you want to be fresh. Not, mm. What are the chances the whole will not play well? And then you move going on now to say, even if I can play this and then play Sunday, I want to Saturday. I want to perform well, but I'll be tired mm. and not give my my all at that game. A most important, which yeah. is that derby. In 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 your times, uh, you guys were lucky because you did not have situations whereby there were no fans at the stadium always packed, especially during a derby. And being key players, I mean, a lot of things, I mean, a midfield can either make or break uh, a team's performance. And you guys were lucky enough to be in the heart of things. How, how much pressure was on your shoulders when you walked into a derby match, especially as a midfielder, compared to any other game? It, it was, it was, not too much, but the, we, we knew already oh, there's pressure. I knew I, I had pressure. And the pressure was not ready to say, I want to take everything and then outshine everyone and then play. No, the pressure was, I know I'm playing with against the best team. I know that my direct competition with your, like, Andile, Opa, uh, Deko, and Nakwasa Naloko thing. They, they are also top players, and I know what they they always give give competition, and and for me it was that pressure. For it. I want to do well. I want to win my battle with uh, my fellow, obviously colleague. Then and and when I'm doing that right, when I win my direct uh, battle, chances of us as a team doing well uh, are going to be high.
So it was that pressure and, and I demanded that for myself to say I want to do well, I want uh, to work hard uh, so that the team can, can benefit from my hard work. When I terminate, when I die, eyes are on you, you deflate, people are screaming, the pressure. The pressure is always there, um, especially at Derby. So I remember we played one Derby in Mafikeng, if I'm not mistaken. And we, we actually won that game. Uh, in the first half, I think we scored like two or something like two, two goals, I think. And I think at that point, I knew that no, we got this one. So it's, it's with the Derby, it's important that you have. Um, how, how do I put it? You score first, it will give you a bit of uh, that confidence because you must remember a derby can go either way. It's, it's either it's hard to score goals or you score a lot. Mm. So there's not really in between, you know, you don't know what to expect. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's that type of a game. It's very, very unpredictable. Now, with me, I think the pressure is always the first like any other player. The first minute, few minutes, you just need to touch the ball, do the right thing, simple things first. And once you do that, ah, you're on the right foot. Mm. Then you know that, okay, now I'm in the game now. You know, just some small things. Because now if you, your first touch is here, it hits the sheen, mm. or as we say, it hits a wall. Yeah. Ah, it works on your mind. And you must remember the supporters, Hey, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Now it works on your mind. So, hey, Baba, time is heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's, it's a mind game as yeah. well. So, you, you, it's the mind also, and it's you must perform on the field. So, expectations are high, you know. And that's why I'm like, as a football, as a professional football, if you haven't played the derby, hey, yeah, no, you haven't experienced. It's only for the lucky few. Yeah. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. I always, I always tell these these young ones to say, if. I wish, right? If it was possible, every player in the PSL would get an opportunity just for one one week to yeah. go train and play Tabi. Yeah. So that they experience the level, yeah, yeah, football, how it yeah. should be. Mm. Yeah. Because that's that's my opinion at the whole. I feel the level yeah, Tabi, right? Yeah. And obviously Sundowns now included in this group. When the three teams are playing how things are, I think all the league games should be yeah, that way. Yeah. Yeah. And that means that's how our league should be. Mm. Unfortunately, other players retire, yeah. never experience don't get to the experience. real sure. By TV. Mm. So that is the, the standard, sa, sa our football, yeah. how it should be. I, I agree. I agree. I wish. I also wish every player would experience something like that. Mm. You know, unlike in the EPL where you have all these packed stadiums. Yeah. Imagine that in South Africa, but you can only experience that with a derby. Unfortunately, yeah. you know, he is right. I, I also wish a, a players, professional players, would go through that and experience what it is. It's, it's something else, man. It's something else. All right. Um, it's obviously upon us. Uh, we've sort of like dissected Nyana how the two teams are looking so far in the league and some of the cup competitions that they've played. A derby is like no other game you've just mentioned. Form goes out of the window. It's tight and what happens half past three when the referee's like, how we? Based on the experiences that you have and the knowledge nyana that we have imparted with regards to the way the two teams are looking. Where's your mind space at, Kyle? I am I am confident with with how Chiefs have been looking and I'm confident with uh, how they sort of approach the game mm. recently. And then going into a derby, for me, you don't you don't need a motivation, yeah, a coach to say, come on boys, let's do what, what, what. You don't need that. Because already it he did that, Kadi games are fitting them. Yeah. And they it worked for them. So this one, you only mention Jorge. Bringing rights are at, at stake. Mm. This is the biggest rivalry that is happening. That's you. You're not even 
dealing much into the tactics or whatever, right? So, so for me, Chiefs, they're in a good space mm. at the moment. But Davis, mm. <laughs> when you're in a good space, mm. win. So, so Chiefs should take that advantage of being in a good space. And first moments, first 20, 25 minutes, at least probably get a goal, yeah. it will settle them. It, yeah. will, it will make them babe, more comfortable and feel what they can still get more and they will push more. And for Bagania? Um, I think you mentioned something important as well. You know, it goes back to the whole thing of scoring first, making an impact, immediately have an edge uh, the first few minutes, which is important. Pirates at this point in time, I think, if, I, if I'm a Pirates player right now, mm. I would be, I don't know if anxious is the right word, but I would be concerned mm. about, you know, with the, with the, the performance, our performance, you know, um, uh, you know, considering how, how Chiefs have been performing. I mean, they've gained momentum. Uh, of course, they've gained confidence as well. So that would be something I think that should be playing in their minds as well. And you don't want that yeah. when you go into a dub. You don't want your opposition having that advantage. Mm. Uh, where a pirate is like still blowing hot and cold. Again, we'll go to that big, yeah, but B-U-T. It's a derby. Uh, everything happens, it's thrown out there on the day, you leave everything there. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's but like I said, you know, uh, Chiefs have that bit of, you know, edge where, when it comes building up to this, to this derby. But I still feel those individuals, especially in a derby, now you need the likes of your lodges. Because sometimes names coming into a, a derby, yeah. names can also add in terms of, you know, um, uh, I don't know, giving a bit of something to work with for the oppositions. I mean, when you know that, hey, yeah, no, yeah, 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 lodge is there. Uh, Pule is there. You know, when they have all those players, now the coach has something to work with uh, when it comes to names. Because you know sometimes it's who, who, who plays, who's, who's, who's playing. So a name, a name does play a part in, in a derby. And when you don't have those players, you know, you will rely, of course, on the ones you have. But it means they have to be in their A game on the day. All right, cool stuff. Very insightful. Um, so this is a new segment that we are starting in season two. Uh, it's very nice, it's very relaxed, it's just questions. Nothing too hectic. Uh, I want to start with you. So to W related. Which player from Pirates did you not want to see in the starting 11? I was like, eh, the man will be in the Oh, you want? Yeah, just one. Sure, I think. Besides me. Yeah. <laughs> no, besides me. I think Teko. Teko. When he was on form, I wouldn't, I didn't want to see mm. him in the starting line. Okay. Well, it was Teko and then you. <laughs> <laughs> and for you? Yo, hey. Strange enough, I think punch Masinamel. He punch, ne? Yeah, punch. And the reason being, he used to kick the hell out of me. <laughs> Yo, yeah. <laughs> Not, you know, that, that was the only thing, like, I know when I, Go to a corner flag or go drink water, he's here, breathing heavy. Just next to him, I'm like, hey, this man. So, for that reason, I think uh, that was one player. I'm like, oh, can it be someone else? <laughs> you know? Yeah, but yeah, for me, that's, yeah. Punch was your guy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming back to you. Um, your most memorable solo to that? I think it was Kaling, the one that I scored. That's the only one I scored. Time. So <laughs> <laughs> it's fair. It's fair. It's the one game you It's big. One. Yeah, it's big. Yeah, one. yeah. I, I that's scored. big. So yeah, yeah, that's the only one. And for you, Dikhan? Just mentioned it earlier. Uh, Mafiken. Yeah, Mafiken game. Yeah, because I think I got man of the match then. Eh? And I remember you trying to, to, to chase me to, to keep up with me pace wise. I'm like, ah, <laughs> my man, my guy. Please. And he knows, because we yeah. played together before with yeah. Cosmos. I don't know what he was doing. Like, uh, guys, so I'm tackling there. Yeah, he's like tackling, he's fighting. You know? But yeah, that's, that's the one for me. This one is a bit of a tricky one. Who was your favorite Orlando Pirates player when you were growing up? I think one, one of them, John Moetti. 
and the other player was Debo Kumbi. Yo, favorite Kaiser Chiefs player growing up? Uh, I remember Skaratinto when I was way young. That's the name that, yeah, still. Um, let's see, Skaratintwa. Shane McGregor, I remember as well. Mm. Ruby Skara and Shane. Yeah, for me, I remember those names. Okay. Way back, way back, yeah. Okay, cool. And the final question before we get out of here. Between Chiefs and Pirates, who's going to win the DSTV Premiership first? <laughs> <laughs> or oh, first, not first. this season. No, not this season. It can oh, be like three years can from be now. Ten years from now. Yeah, it can be. Who's going yeah. to win it first? Oh, Chiefs is going to win it first. Okay. Automatic. Oh. Yeah, you can say Chiefs. I mean, you can say Chiefs. I think that's obvious. That's, I can say Chiefs. Hmm? Yeah, you can say Chiefs. You don't have to say Pirates. No, for today, I'll say Pirates. Oh. It's fine. Okay, so Pirates, you say Pirates is going to win the league before Chiefs does, and you say Chiefs is going to win before Pirates does. <laughs> okay, cool. And Dabi, you think they winning, or you think Pirates is winning? Of course, Pirates is winning this one. Chiefs is winning, 2-1. Okay. A draw is possible. Ah, ah Chiefs is winning. Why are you Don't stand on the fence. Choose one. Choose a struggle. I'm, 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 I'm hoping Pirates <laughs> wins, eh? So that when we have this discussion next time, yeah, no. we're not gonna we're not gonna go back. So you go with pirates, mm. and yeah, you go with Chiefs. Chiefs and go for the score two one. Yep, but nah, confidence. What? You know, if there's precision yeah, that, yeah. that we just heard now, two one. Okay. You wanna attempt putting the scorers in your score as well, or we create like that? Nike offensive. The next time we come back, please remember the score, please. Okay, I know I've got it on I've got it on record. Don't worry. But anyway, gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us on the first episode of season two of the Sisonke Disky Chat. Uh Rene Lutolonyani, former Kaiser Chiefs midfielder, and Dihang Terminator Mabalani, former Orlando Pirates midfielder. And you at home as well, thank you very much for joining us for the first episode of season two. And remember, like I told you earlier on, head out to your app store to download the Vodapay app for your chance to win some very cool prizes daily up until the Soweto Derby. You can win yourself some Vodapay vouchers, soccer merchandise, and lots and lots of data. All you gotta do is download the app and enter our Soweto Derby competition on the app. And who knows, you could be buying almost anything and everything on the Vodapay app with some of those vouchers or looking cool with your Chiefs or Pirates merchandise, or even streaming or watching the Sisonke Disky Chat with all the data that we have to give away. So make sure you download the app. If you like it, Vodapay it. And on that note, we out. We'll see you next time on the Sisonke Disky Chat.